In 2008, things were looking grim for Generac. The 49-year-old firm, which makes natural gas powered by cup generators, had been acquired a couple of years earlier by CCMP Capital, a New York City private equity shop. To buy out the 81-year-old founder's 70% stake, CCMP had loaded up the Milwaukee-based firm, which had just $700 million in sales, with $1.4 billion in debt. The timing was terrible. In 2006 and 2007, only one hurricane, a big driver of generator sales, made landfall on the U.S. mainland. Then the housing crash and Great Recession scored direct hits, cutting Generac's earnings by a third before debt service and merger-related charges. CCMP was forced to pony up more cash to prevent a technical debt default and tap Taryn Jagdfeld, a 33-year-old accountant who had risen internally to CFO, to take over as CEO. The young bean counter had a surprising solution, get more aggressive. After buying in some debt at 50 cents on the dollar, he took the company public in 2010 and began a string of acquisitions, 25 since 2011. First, he bought into peripheral businesses such as cell phone transmission and outdoor light towers. Then he made additional acquisitions to realize a vision of the home as an energy-efficient virtual power plant capable of not only keeping the lights, heat and refrigerator running when the power grid goes down, but also selling juice back to utilities as part of a microgrid. Demand for Generax $20, oh, 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 generators has surged, helped along by extreme weather events, the deterioration of the nation's power grids and the pandemic, which Jagdfeld says has turned homes into sanctuaries. Between competitors' troubles, our rival Briggs and Stratton went bankrupt in 2020, and its own efforts, Generac now has an 80% market share in home backup generators and a six-month order backlog. Over the 12 months ended March 30, the company did $4.1 billion in sales and $1.8 billion in gross profit, both double pre-pandemic levels. Non-generator sales now account for 20% of revenue. Since the company went public at $13 a share, Generac stock has been on a wild ride. It spiked to an incredible $498 last October and is now back at $250, still a hefty 33 times trailing earnings per share. Debt is a manageable 6% of enterprise value, compared to 80% after the IPO. Jack Feld's personal holdings are currently worth $150 million. CCMP sold out in 2013 at a profit.